What is going on, guys? I gotta find my way through here somehow. I think this is going to be really muddy, but I'll give it a go anyway. Oh yeah, just a tad. They've done so much work over here. But anyway guys, hello, dirt bike killing in here, I'm finally back. It's been a few weeks. Uh, I've done a bit to this bike since I've been gone. Um, it's kind of completely ruined the new roads. I don't even think I can get through here. There's actually somewhere over here. If I trespass this guy's property, I can get into. If I do some mighty trespassing, then I can get through here. The owner just saw me go. Oh, well, I've been gone. I've done a few things to this bike. What I did with the intake manifold is I actually intake manifold. I actually ported it out and gas matched it. So there's an opening on the head and an opening on the carburetor, and the the hole was about that big, but the intake manifold was only about that wide. So you you carve it out so it's the same size as the head and carburetor, and it's less restrictive. And it, it, you get mad power gains. Oh, and also fixed my clutch lever with some duct tape because you know duct tape fixes everything, as you should know. But I can definitely feel a power increase with that uh, ported out intake. He's driving so slow. I think he's like trying to make up his mind if he's about to tell me off or not. I mean, if he does tell me off, it would make a good video. There is a mighty puddle here. I'm going to go through it. Jeez, it gets deep in the middle there. I want to give a massive shout out to Castle Customs. Uh, I'll, put his, I'll put his YouTube channel and his Instagram down in the description and on the screen. Uh, he's actually quite interested in his pit bikes and his monkey bikes. He does some cool Z50 boards and stuff. This is this is sloppy. as well. <laughs> Who needs grip anyway? That's slippery. Oh my god. Should we try to climb this? Yep, and there's no going down. Oh, by the way, guys. Oh. Well, okay then. So we're, we're three subscribers from 100 as of the morning I'm recording this. Which. I don't think I'd either reach. It, it's not actually that much, but you always hear YouTubers going about how 
didn't seem like long ago when they had a hundred subs and stuff like that. So you know, I might, I might do a subscriber special or something like that. Oh, but anyway, if you are subscribed, thank you so much. So bad now. I'm trying to learn to wheelie with my, my feet up and using a back brake. Oh. I think second gear, then yet like that. Or third gear, I think. No. Nope. I think you gotta go slow in second and then pop the clutch. Like that. And now we're talking. I'm not used to using a back brake yet. I've actually been practicing on my push bike. I gotta, I gotta learn to change using my hand to get the mud off my hand. From using my hand to using my foot, which might be a bit of a, a bit of a, like, confused. I might try to pull in the clutch when I go past balance, wouldn't fall off and die. But I will. Maybe on GoPro, so it doesn't really matter. Well, anyway, guys, you probably don't want to watch me practicing and wheeling for the next two hours. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please tell me anything I've done wrong or like anything I need to improve, or if I need to like. Oh well, a lot of you say I need to ride faster, but that was kind of hard today, as you probably saw when I was over there and I started like hooning, you know, and then like the mad mud, maybe do some mad skids, it didn't work. Let's just do a straight up feet down. Damn it. The only thing that affects those wheelies is that the, the carburetor's not made to run up in a direction like that, so it, it drowns the engine from fuel and the engine, like, it bogs down. I'm not giving you the right power to, to pop from the fat wheelies. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you watch this far, please smash that like button. Peace out.